So we are heading out to dinner, uh, coming from the Ascot in Bonifacio Global City in the gig. But before we do that, I wanted to do a quick tour of what a studio executive suite uh, looks like in one of the serviced apartments that are available all throughout, really, the Philippines. And if this is the first time you're hearing about serviced apartments, service hotel, it's basically like a hotel that meets Airbnb. You sort of get the comforts of living in an apartment-like room with a kitchenette, uh, you know, plates for cooking, a fridge, um, and sort of the hotel feel. So it's basically a hybrid of both. And when we've come to the Philippines to visit my family in the previous years, we've definitely stayed um, at the service hotel apartments. And most of the time, if not all of the time, we've stayed at the Ascot in Makati. Number one for its location. Um, Philippines probably already know this. Um, if you're if you live in the metro, it's literally above Greenbelt, which is a really nice mall. So if you're hungry, if you just want to walk around, if you just want to get out of your hotel room, you just take an elevator down and really everything that you want food-wise, shopping-wise, is um, at that mall in Greenbelt. This particular one, this is the first time we've been here. They have another property in the south called the Somerset. When Ryan and I arrived here back in November of 2020, that is actually where we quarantined. I wanted to show you really what a, a studio apartment looks like and then uh, I will tell you how much one of these service hotels apartment costs.
quick small room maximum occupancy is two adults obviously you go to their website we can pick from one bedroom to three bedrooms for a family and i'm going to go through how much this costs now depending on your budget or what your purpose here coming to manila is you go to one of those travel websites and they are everywhere so like i said location is going to be a lot um, factor on the cost uh, so if that's you don't really need to be anywhere here you know you can find something outside of outside of the city i will also talk about the rates in dollars just because my own pet peeve when i used to watch this vlogs and try to figure out where to stay or reviews on places like this i had to do a quick conversion in my head for the sake of this video i am going to use 50 Philippine peso to one dollar. It's a little bit higher right now. I think it's 51 and change pesos to one dollar. But just to make the math easier, we'll just do round it out to 50 pesos. They're really encouraging locals to check in local hotels to kind of kickstart the economy. So a night um, here in Ascot BGC is about 7,800 pesos. So that's around about figures. $156. Now, breakfast is included. I just want to um, throw that out there. So when you think of this rate, uh, breakfast is included. And we'll talk, we'll talk about the breakfast um, after I do the breakdown of cost. Because if you're used to traveling in the States, if you go to a double tree, which I have a lot for work or for tennis or what have you, um, I do like the breakfast. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk about breakfast at one of these places. So that's just the room daily occupancy rate. There's a local tax, which is 35 pesos, so that's 70 cents. And then there's a service charge of 10%. You will see this service charge when you check in hotels or restaurants, a lot of it in restaurants. And if you want to think about it, it's like a tip. Or, um, I like to tip, especially at restaurants, even if there is a service charge. The next line is what we, you'll see a lot as well in in sales and goods here it's called a value added tax that that's what you're gonna see in the receipt and really it's another form of sales tax it's an indirect sales tax that is passed on to you and you see some value add when you pay it and that is a whopping 12% so that's about 936 pesos around $18 so all in all, that comes out to about 9,250 pesos per night, 185 US dollars a night to stay in a place like this. Um, so um, I mentioned that it includes breakfast. So in previous days, Ascot had beautiful breakfast. It's buffet, you want Filipino, you want American, you want Western. It was just a beautiful spread. Obviously, with the current climate, um, everywhere you go, everything is sort of packaged and they're doing like lockdown meals. So, they're doing a hybrid um, buffet, is what they called it. So, when you check in right now, this is we're in the middle of February, they give you this like piece of paper and you will see different breakfast options on the side. You got Western, you got Filipino, your normal stuff. And in the middle section, you have time frames. And what they tell you is that by six o'clock, please call ahead for what you want to have for breakfast the next day. And that is only your main entree. They don't want food sitting out anymore, like buffets, so they try to do it in advance. You give them the time frame of breakfast at 9 30 tomorrow so they sort of have that ready and then when you check into the restaurant on the second floor called scott's you sit down and they start your breakfast they still have a modified version of their buffet and they have everything from cereal to uh lugao you know, if you congee, you want soup you want breads you want pastries and they actually have an egg station where Want an omelet made to order you can certainly do that there so everything included with the rate you get your usual coffee milk tea orange juice apple juice um, as well so yeah you're not gonna get 
the full enchilada buffet that maybe you're used to, but it's it's a very good option. And by the way, the, the, the food's pretty, uh, pretty good as well. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm sure the rates are going to change as the world opens and everything sort of goes back to new normal. But I don't think the room <laughs> layout is going to change anytime soon. So this is kind of what you get for a studio executive. It doesn't differ that much from the one in Makati, except that this one is a lot newer. So you get the new car smells. So there you go. That is a quick tour of our room as we staycation. And now we are off to dinner. I'll catch you guys later.